this is the train station in Amsterdam the central station I'm going to a place called Zan Schans a beautiful place here about 20 minute train ride and that is the name of the place Zan Schans right there so my train will be here in about 10 minutes I arrived early so let's go They have the map here, just we arrived here at this location and I'm going to this place right there. So let's go this way. I'm just gonna follow the crowd. They get off from that station right there and find my way all the way there. This place is full of windmills and I already see the first one along the way and I think the walk is about 15 minutes 15 minutes from the train station that I got off at to the to that place so pretty much I am following people who got off the train from with me right there I visited this place about six years ago but it was uh, an organized tour at the time but this time I am doing it alone on my own without any kind of tour guides and there is a bunch of people going that way crossing over this bridge but I'm not sure if that's the right way to go but since a lot of people are pointing their cameras that way I'm assuming that there is a beautiful view right there we will find out in a few minutes yeah this is why a lot of people are taking photos of those windmills trying to navigate my way through this heavy traffic is that even the correct way to go I think so all right because I am walking so fast trying to avoid getting people on camera all right I'm not sure what that is souvenir shop right there and I guess this is the entrance to the place
it's kind of windy today. The video, audio, will not be good due to the wind. So I think if I'm not mistaken, I can go inside one of those main windmills and go inside because they are still in operation and you can see how it works but I still have to pay a fee to get there I think what that is the house or what see when you don't join a, a tour guide a guided tour you have the flexibility to just wander around like the way I am doing now without uh, without any time constraint as far as uh, how much time you spend in each location but this one seems to be a collection of small homes that I have no idea what they are. Maybe are they uh, private homes or what I see some people there. I would say that maybe they are farms. I have no idea. I think people live here. If that's the case, I have to be a little bit conscientious. Conscientious of where I am, on what I am filming, if they're private. But since a lot of people are uh, are holding cameras and taking videos and all that kind of stuff, I have no problem filming, I guess. And somebody was singing a song. What a beautiful big farm right there. All right, on to the next uh, section of this beautiful town. Let's go to the, let's go to the windmills. You sing so well, sir. <laughs> So the plan today is to visit this Zan Skans place and I am 100% sure that my pronunciation is wrong. Pronunciation of this uh, place, Zan Skans. But anyway, I'm trying to mimic the way the Dutch people pronounce it. But every time I try, I fail. The plan is to visit this place and then squeeze in another day trip but I don't think I can do everything on the same day we'll see how that goes depending on if I like this place more I'll spend more time wandering around what is that this is what uh, I don't know maybe it's a small museum Let's get closer to the windmills because that's the primary objective as far as visiting uh, this place to see the windmills and capture uh, footage when I get close closer to them and I will try to enter one of uh, one of them and I did go inside one of them six years ago one of those I don't remember but because it was a tour guided tour I did not have to worry about fees or all or uh, which way I go and what to see and what not to see because you follow a guide Tons of it, baby. but today is different 
I have to figure out everything on my own. And I did not even do any kind of uh, research prior to my visit. Because I was kind of busy last night. I did not have time to to uh, to read about this place. Because I'm already, my mind, my mind is already prepared for the next trip, which is going to be very, very beautiful uh, country that you will see very soon. So mentally, I am already checked out of Amsterdam and Paris, preparing for the next big trip that I have to f to go back to Paris and fly to that country very soon. Look at that! It's uh, it's really windy. So I was in Paris prior to my Amsterdam trip. You can check out my Paris uh, videos. You might enjoy uh, my videos of Paris. And I think the one that I can enter is all the way down there, the, uh, the windmill. I don't think I can enter this one. I don't think so. I remember entering one of those main ones. So let's go. Let's go there. All right, I guess I'm not supposed to walk here because it's a bike uh, a bike lane. But as you can see, up there it's full of people. So I said why not just walk here since there are no bikes. Not a lot of bike traffic. This is the line, I think, to get in. It's a big line. But I think that... Curiosity got the better of me, so I will just go inside and see what it is all about. Let's go. I'm gonna go upstairs climbing these steep stairs have to be very careful it's not that safe they have a warning sign downstairs and here we go I made it to the top It's an operation now, it's, it's working. All right, enough of this place. Let's, let's move on. There is another big one, but I don't think this one is open to the public.
so there's a bunch of them. I keep walking all the way down. I keep seeing more and more along the way. So I think I'm gonna try to go to another town called Marken and also there is another one called Vendalm or something like that. I think the one up ahead is the last one and they only accept cash here. The lady told me that the credit card machine is not working. So it's about five euros to get in that uh, windmill that you saw earlier and also the public toilets are not free you have to uh, bring coins with you in case you need to use uh, public toilets let's check out this last windmill before uh, heading to the next place that I still don't know what that next place is I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna go to Marken or somewhere else or call it a day and just go to the hotel and relax and do some work and edit this video or maybe take one of those small boats but I'm not into I'm not into that Let's check out that last one. There is a house next to it. It's a house next to it. I'm not sure if it's a, a museum or a private home looks to me like it's a private home, I think. People do live here, I guess. All right, on to the next destination. So I'm back to Amsterdam Central Station. I'm gonna take a bus to Volendam. So I got to Volendam, it's a beautiful village right here. I took bus number 316 from Amsterdam Central Station and the tour, the, the trip I should say, took about, I would say 25 minutes, 25 minute bus ride. And the same bus goes to another village also called Adam that I might visit later I wasn't actually planning to visit this town but since I have a lot of time on my hand I said let's go make good use of it and visit this lovely village and I will find a place to eat here because I'm so hungry 
It's been a busy day since this morning. I started my day actually late today at 11 a.m. So I slept in. I took my time to sleep. Take, took a good rest. And let's see what's up there, up ahead. It looks like there is a, a sea or lake or something like that. And I heard that there is a, a ferry that takes you to another village called Marken. Look behind me. It looks very nice. The village behind me. Yeah, I think this is where ferry to Marken leaves from this station somewhere here. You see where it says Volendam Marken? It goes this way. It's a little bit noisy here. And this is the heavy traffic uh, area. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to avoid this place if I want to eat because it's a touristy area and most likely the the prices will be double so this is not a good place to eat back in 2017 the guided tour took us to a restaurant which was a little bit uh, tourist trap and the meal was about 40 euros it's quite expensive and this is what happens when you go with that guided tour they take you to expensive places because they get commission from the restaurants and all the stores but uh, once you are on your own you find your way to be a more economical if you want to save money unless you have too much money to burn that will be another story yeah very nice area I think that is the ferry that takes you to Marken. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go there or not. I've seen it six years ago and I wasn't impressed. So I might go to Adam because I haven't been there before. I'll check it out. walk a bunch of small uh, boutiques and stores and very nice no shortage of souvenirs
Let's go take the ferry. Nou ja, erg gebouwd, maar uh, nee, het is wel bond met een deen. Maar uh, je hebt uh, Robert. Thank you. Welcome on board, of Robert. All right, there is a cafeteria inside, I think, but nobody is here because everybody goes upstairs. There is a bathroom. This ferry is to Marken, and I got a round trip return because I need to take, uh, need to come back to Volendam to take a bus to uh, Adam, and that's the only way to go to Adam to get back to. Volendam to this village. So that's why I got uh, a return ticket for 17 euros, which is not bad. Some people take their bikes uh, here. So bye bye Volendam for now. I'm coming back. It's gonna be a 30 minute boat ride to Marken. Let's go to Marken and enjoy that village. This is Marken. I arrived. I'm gonna go for a short walk here and explore it. What a beautiful, what a beautiful village. Bunch of uh, small black uh, wooden homes right there. This is gonna be similar to a city that I will visit soon. City in the in a different country but uh, it's totally different from uh, Volendam look at that uh, let's see if I can walk I'm not sure if I am allowed to to go inside but I see uh, beautiful horses right there these are I would imagine they are private homes so I have to respect their uh, privacy but look at that look at that view of uh, of that section of the village i will go there later and bring uh, a drink a cup of coffee to make me awake because i'm falling asleep i actually slept a little bit on the boat and i missed uh, a lot of uh, good opportunities to capture nice footage along the way but uh, but I slept and here is uh, another walking path right there but it's uh, windy it's really windy Still here, 
So I'm going to see if it's only a small village that I can just uh, finish it in in 10 minutes. I might take the same boat back to Volendam to catch uh, the bus to Edam. But the gentleman told me that the next boat will be in about 45 minutes. I was planning to grab a cup of coffee but it doesn't look like it's uh, it's a big uh, village to to spend a uh, long time here so I think 30 minutes 30 minutes will be uh, will be good enough so let's go that way since everybody is going that way And I would think that most of the people that got off the boat are doing the same thing that I am doing. They're just got off the boat to explore, do some exploring and then go back to the same boat. Wow, it's really beautiful. It really is. I'm glad that I, I made it to Marken because I was planning to uh, completely skip it because I was here six years ago but I don't remember enjoying it because I was I don't think I got the opportunity to to step foot on this island it's actually it's actually an island this one is an island and uh, that's why the ferry, I think, is the most preferred way to reach it. But uh, because of uh, a big project that they had a while back, they made it part of the mainland. And uh, let's go. Uh, let's go that way. See, this is. Uh, this is the residential area. I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way in. So, so I think, I think I can make it back to the same boat. I don't think there is much uh, more to explore unless I keep uh, going there. There is a, a small beautiful lighthouse right there. You see that one all the way to the corner. Right there. So I think there is not much to do here other than uh, sitting uh, at the restaurant uh, uh, eat and uh, drink coffee and all that kind of stuff but since I already had lunch in Volendam I'll try to go back to the boat and catch the boat back instead of waiting for another 45 minutes here doing nothing I made it back to the boat and I got myself coffee to make me Awake. So I'm back to the bus stop right here. So I'm gonna go to a village called Edam. So I had to go back to Volendam because that's the most convenient way to go to Edam. So I'm gonna wait for about 20 minutes here for the bus to go explore that beautiful village.
All right, I made it to a village called Adam. What a beautiful canal right here. There is no shortage of canals in the Netherlands. Wow. And this village is famous for cheese making uh, stuff. So there is a cheese market somewhere here that I need to pull up my Google map and see where it is located. I think it's located right here. And not a lot of people visit this uh, beautiful village because not there is I don't think there is a tour uh, company that uh, take people to this village and this is why you won't see anybody any tourist here I'm not the only one I think Go. Let's go this way. Looks like there is uh, a residential uh, residential area right here, and there is a beautiful uh, church and uh, and a town hall also that I am trying to go. and explore but I think it's um, the cheese uh, market is already is already close because it's already 6 p.m. what a quiet small village really nice unlike uh, Volendam you saw how busy it is because it's very uh, touristy uh, village and this place reminds me of the Alentejo region in Portugal where not a lot of people visit so if you're watching this video now you know you know that there are many beautiful places to visit if you are in Amsterdam you can take a day trip and explore those beautiful places and get away from the touristy uh, area and this is the canal off to the left right there you see what a beautiful so now is summertime we have more uh, daylight uh, hours long daylight hours and this is the reason also the weather is so nice in the summer here unlike uh, Paris and this is why I uh, I left Paris due to the weather I was supposed to stay in Paris a little longer but I could not uh, handle the uh, the heat but the weather here is so beautiful it really is it's not hot and it's not uh, it's not that hot I can tell you that it is hot but it's uh, not uh, unbearably uh, hot wow it's beautiful which one okay google wants me to go this way so i'm just gonna keep filming and, uh, and let you uh, see this beautiful village before i end this uh, video And I really love it. I love uh, small villages when uh, when it's so empty like that, and not a lot of people visit. It gives you a great opportunity to to take uh, great uh, great photos without capturing uh, people on camera with you.
especially when it comes to filming it's really nice to film without the crowd see google one tells me that the cheese uh, Adam cheese market is somewhere here and my guess is gonna be somewhere here since the Google says it's actually you arrived but I don't know exactly where it is and I think this is the one that's the sign I think that is where I guess my my assumption will be this place you see this is the, uh, the picture so I guess in the morning or during business hours the merchants uh, put their stuff here I don't know we'll find out all right the cheese market is actually right there so I was correct so now let's go to a beautiful church right now I just pulled up my phone and I looked at the list of the places that I want to check out because I, I remember reading some of the forums online to see what kind of uh, places I should visit when I am in this uh, town and surprisingly enough Google uh, map could not find the name of the church so I had to look it up by by the local uh, language as opposed to English and I found it on Google Maps but the streets here are very lovely with lovely building designs and I can see the church up ahead right there see I am approaching this beautiful church I hope it's open and check out my video of Amsterdam if you are interested I made a long video pretty much the same style like the video that you are watching all my videos have a similar uh, style and every now and then I add uh, some background music when necessary especially when there is a uh, street music uh, playing when I walk in uh, in the city some shops play music so sometimes I need to block their music by adding my own my own uh, music and look at that wow what is this is this the uh, cemetery I think but I don't want to I don't want them to lock the, the, the gate because um, it's close to closing time I don't want to get stuck in uh, in this area but the main entrance to the church maybe it's on the other side this is all a uh, cemetery right here I don't think it's the uh, I don't think the main entrance is this way but it looks to me that there are important people were buried here because I see a bunch of photos on the I have no idea about this place forgive me if I did not do my homework to read more about this place see this is the name of the church looks like it's a famous church but it's uh, it's closed it's too late already 6 o'clock p.m. or maybe this is the main entrance hmm Let's see. Yeah, it's close. 
it is close, ladies and gentlemen. But the building is so nice. The uh, the architecture, arti the architecture, I should say, is beautiful. And there is a tower, beautiful tower right there, that I forgot the name. I'm gonna go there since it's on my way to the bus uh, stop. Wow, I found myself in this spot on my way to the bus stop. What a beautiful building right there. Along with with the canal there is a beautiful tower there nice restaurant with a beautiful outdoor setting what a beautiful place very quiet I might stay here and uh, eat lunch I mean dinner here since it's not that crowded and look at that view what a view really is maybe that is the tower that I'm trying to reach or that one or that big one I'm not sure so maybe that is the one since it's on the way to the bus stop and here is the tower ladies and gentlemen I found my way to the tower is this uh, a church or what since the gate is open I would assume that it's a, a tourist destination open to the public it's in Dutch I don't understand a word but I will uh, point the camera anyway and let those who are interested to pause the video and read but the door is open I mean closed is locked I don't think I am trespassing because it's open gate. So for those of you who like to to see canals and all that kind of stuff, especially when you when you uh, watch the videos of Amsterdam on uh, other channels, you will see a bunch of canals. If you want to avoid the crowd, come to this village because it, it offers uh, similar views of the uh, canals without the, uh, the crowd, without uh, the people. So you, almost the whole village now is to myself. And so far what I have seen is better than what I have seen in Amsterdam. And it's about uh, 35, minute um, bus ride to uh, to Amsterdam you look at that beautiful bridge small bridge right there back to the bus stop to take me all the way to Amsterdam and uh, for those who are following me my next video will be another destination in a remote area somewhere on the Atlantic Ocean and the country is very cold and it will not be Greenland and it will not be Iceland because I have visited those uh, countries it will be a country that is so close to those two countries so you will find out in the next video after this because I am leaving soon to visit that area see you in that video have a good day